important fight for both of these two men who have been out of the ring for half a year. Obo, who has been sparring with Vasily Yirov, the IBF Cruiserweight Championship man, and of course Richie Woodall as well, as Woodall prepared for Joe Calzaghi, and Richie gave me a personal recommendation about Obo, who is in the kind of uh, leopard skin trunks here, and Chris Davis on a good run since he made a comeback. He's won seven out of eight since coming back into the ring. He looks refreshed and with new confidence. Obo, naturally the bigger man, maybe, and he can hit, too. Casting a glance at the referee there, Obo, early on. This is an important fight for these two. They can break into championship contention. It's a Commonwealth title eliminator officially. Well, that's a good match in. Both these boys can punch a bit. It should be exciting. Obo looking to put on the pressure. South four, as you can see. Which is why Richie Woodall wanted him to prepare for Calzaghi. He's strong and pretty ball. eager and had an outstanding result when he took out Ole Clementson, European champion at light heavyweight, in one round back in 1998. That's an eye catching little uh, snippet to have on your record. Very aggressive here, for Obo. Davis, just be patient, fighting this time. Bit of blood around on the forehead of Davis. Now, where that's coming from, we'll try to get a better look at him. He gets you with a nice right hand as well. Might be from the nose, I think, of Davis. That uh, blood I was talking about. Pretty upright, Obo just leaves his chin in the air a little bit, covering up better Chris Davis, who comes from South Wales. From the Dye Gardner cap. Good body shots from him in this opening round, noticeably. All the work from Obo is pretty erratic. He's getting his shots off. He's hitting the gloves there, Obo. Just tending to slap a little with the right hand there. Quite a lot of blood from the nose of Chris Davis, though. Davis, the reborn boxer, the man who's had two two year periods of inactivity in his career. I think he thought he was going nowhere. But he's got a new appetite, and he's done well with these body shots in this opening round. Welcome back to Peterborough. Problem there in the old uh, nose for Chris Davis. Now, I hope that's not broken. Not a better success rate for Davies there. Ooh, he, was success rate. he didn't throw a lot, but what he did was connecting. Yeah, I had Davis just edging the round, but it was Here we go. hard to score. Second round two. <laughs> Obo initially from Nigeria, now based at Brockley in South London to be a sparring partner too for the former WBO heavyweight champion Henry Akinwande. So this is a guy really who's known how to look after himself, certainly in the gym. Just wonder if he's had a rather too much tough sparring. What's the end? Watch the use of the heads. There's referee Terry O'Connor winging away with these hooks, Davis. 
slightly unconventional style Oboe has. Gangling sort of operator. Yes, he's got very jerky movements, hasn't he? He can be effective. I'm just going to say, Glenn, coming in very light for him tonight. 12 stone, 3 and 3 quarters. In the past, he's been up, you know, 13 stone plus, sometimes up near 14 stone. Yes, he's getting lighter, but, uh, you know, he should be in good shape. He's been to Juan Ruggiero and people like that, so, you know, he's, he's kept himself active. Yeah, there's nothing too untoward about that because he was 12 stone 7 for the fight before it. Just arm punches, really, from Oba. Maybe more meat in those from Chris Davis, who did have a two-round win over the former British middleweight champion Neville Brown. A faded Neville Brown, it has to be said. Looking more compact, Davis, early here. Yes, he's not getting his shots on any authority in this round, Obo. And the solid ones are coming from Davies. Obo did get through with a little right hand to the head. Again, two more body shots. They were quite effective for him in the first round, too, Davis. Certainly the winner of this can think about a crack at Coventry's Neil Simpson, who's had an amazing breakthrough in his recent fights, and well done to him. with a bit more head when he just stands pretty upright. Hobo does like to hang around in the corners. We saw him doing that when he fought Scott Welsh, the old British heavyweight champion. Dave Welsh, plenty of trouble late on, I remember, in that fight. Complaint to the referee. Watch the use of the head, says the referee. Davis complaining. Nine hours of live basketball for you coming on Saturday. The quarterfinals of the Uniball Trophy and all four matches live only on Sky Sports. Coverage beginning Saturday morning from 11, Sky Sports 3. Super middleweight prospects McGee against Linford here live later. First, this domestic dispute at light heavyweight. Yes, good little bill here in Peterborough tonight. All looks fairly competitive. The leopard skin trunks here of Peter Obo, the 32-year-old who spars with top men. And Chris Davis from South Wales. Commonwealth left heavyweight title eliminates a big left hook. And Obo in trouble. Head may have cleared now. But Davis with a good breakthrough. Solid looking shot. And a great left uppercut too from Obo with his back to the ropes. Good action in this opening to the third round. Yes, very good action. Good punches going in from Davis. Obo got a nice uppercut. Through the middle, please. Get your legs a bit. There's quite a lot of blood around there now. Seems to be maybe a bit of damage by the right eye of Obo, who's fighting back well. He's soaked up that big left hook. Davis quite able to sustain the assault. Maybe he'll be back. Davis is waiting for the right Push opening, up. but yeah, he should be moving his head more. And he's in trouble a little bit here. Just caught by one, I fancy, in there. Davis is covering up. One of those, I think, caught him around the top of the head. And now a little crisis here now for Davis. A lot of facial no, damage. Has a no, cut now on the cheek of Davis. No, Peter, world, Peter. World, Peter. Pivotal round is third world. by the look of it. What a tough round. Good punches going in, Davis. Trying to put some big ones in. 
the first one man and then the other in the ascendancy in this round. Badly cut now, Chris Davis. Encounter. <laughs> Saving, chopping shots. Come on, the use of the elbow Simon, too. Come on, the Need to have the punches from Orville. No rock in there, Orville. I think they've both had their moments in this round where they've been pretty badly shaken. Yes, they have. That's Davis who's putting the pressure on. Good body shot to the right hand from the much improved Chris Davis, who does have five defeats on his record. But not very many of them in recent times. Just one fighting away in Spain last year. He just walked straight in, Davis. You know, should adopt a bit more head movement when he tries to get in. that one now maybe a little contentious they've had three rounds so far they've been pretty close but i've given them all to davis well i give the first one to orbo that was a close one the last two i've given to davis but orbo having his successes that was davis's left foot that did the damage and he looked as if he was just gonna wilt there orbo he came back so well well enough to hurt davis as well there tried to put him away he was just Boxing through a haze there. Davis. How many punches were thrown in that round? Nearly 200 between them. Here we go. Second down. Brown landing from Davis. Fourth round. Over the. Frank! Never fall! Lanky, really, isn't he? Nigerian now based in London. Started his career in Italy as well. And he used to live in Naples. In Again, with hooks from Davis. of Obo are having their effect too. You only have to look at the face of Davis to see that. <laughs> Hitting the gloves with all four of those Obo. Stake for these two men in this contest tonight. It's not just about the most important of their careers today. Well, he's thrown a lot more punches in this round. Of war. The heavy ones are still from Davies. His work rate has just dropped off a little. He's beginning to pick it up again now with the body shots. Southpaw jab, not snapping it over. Due to go ten rounds, this, by the way. Good body punch from Davis. Through the middle, Pete. No 
Kubo looks very strong and willing. He's outworking oh. Davis in this round. Oh. It's hard to get too many of them through that guard. Oh. Davis, but Davis has kind of abandoned the body attack. You have to give that to Eldo. He wants to carry on with it way after the bell. Face is a mess, Chris Davis. Here we are, fight total of punches landed. Davis more so far. And look at the difference Come in punch there. economy. Very, very marked. Yes, he's um, you know, he is very economical, but he's picking the, the better down. shots. But I've got this level now. With over winning the last round. I've got it three rounds to one for Davis. Here's round five. Davis is the one in the purple trunks. The leopard skin of Peter Obo. Fight, uh, fight. He floored the Irish man. Uh, Ray came six times and stopped him in the second round, Obo. Don't them break! Don't hold them break. to be a bit busy too here, Glenn. Yes, he has. He's got to keep it clean. They're both pretty rough guys. That's inside of the glove for me by Obo. Not looking for body shots at all, it doesn't seem to me, Obo. And he's hitting the gloves of Davis quite a lot, hence the big difference in punch economy, I think, that you saw on that computer printout in between the rounds. Well, he's getting through with uh, enough ball ball, because the face of Davis is a mess. Great drop over the last couple of rounds. Needs to watch that. Obo's <laughs> particularly lightweight for this suggests that he's prepared very, very well. Yes, I think he'll have worked hard. Dean Powell. We think it's the lightest in his career, though we have no weight check on what he weighed for a couple of early fights in Italy. But almost certainly a career lightest this for Peter Obo, who's been in with heavyweights in the past. And here he is boxing at light heavy. Davis actually on the night. Officially weighing three pounds more at 12, six and a half. Although just back, looking the fresher of the two at the moment. Yes, he's keeping busy. Davis hasn't done that much in this round. Rangy punches to the head from Obo. Starting to get through with one or two more of these two. So better from Davis getting back to the body attack. Well, he needed to start doing something in this round, Davis. I think I can see why Davis has cut. The way Obo punches, they look like the kind of punches that would cut you, sort of lacerating shots, aren't they? Yeah, they look pretty hard. Clinton Woods is the top man, could have been inactive. We still wait for that big fight with Michael Nunn. Should happen soon, we're told. Neil Simpson there, uh, he's been the big breakthrough man, British and Commonwealth champion. Darren Corbett there at three, Mark Baker four, Mark Delaney at five. Those are the top five. Chris Davis is at seven, 
Obo has been a bit inactive, which is why he's not in that top 10 rankings, but he wouldn't be qualified for a shot at the British title anyway. There is Clinton Woods. That would be a very good fight for him, wouldn't it? The Sheffield fighter against former world champion Michael Nunn. What a name to have on your record if he can win it. Yep, that would be a, a very good one as well. He's been for that fight for a while, but he's been postponed about 27 times, isn't it now? Yeah, the last count. And counting. I think we'll believe that one when we actually see it in the ring on the night. Here's the sixth round of this one. Leopard skin trunks, remember, Peter Obo. I've given him the last two Obo, having given Davis the first three. Well, I've got it a little different from you. I've got Obo ahead now, 48-47. Due to go 10, I'll remind you. some quite effective looking uppercuts as well Obo. Davis has gone into his shell a bit and I think he's starting to feel the weight of these shots. I think the fact that Obo is mixed with bigger men and is way more, the fact that he's naturally bigger is beginning to just take its toll here on Davis. Yes, I think these clubbing hooks around the side are hurting Davis. A lot of blood from his nose, big gash on his cheek. He's just walked out of a minor road accident, doesn't he, at the moment, Davis? Well, I think bit by bit these punches are getting to Davis. They are, he's beginning to slump. He's starting to ship a few more of these two. They're not hitting the gloves anymore. And Davis himself has gone just a bit tentative. Big turnaround here. And signs of another cut opening on the uh, cheekbone too of Davis. That was a bit better from Davis getting his shots together there. Because if Obo wins, he could end up fighting Neil Simpson for the Commonwealth title that Simpson recently won in dramatic style. Shots again from Obo. They get cluster of them with his back to the rock. Better from Davis, but needs more of this. Yes, he's just gonna be a lot busier, Davis. You know, his shots look good. He looks as if he's put power in them, but he doesn't throw enough. The body shots are good. Obo smiles through his gum shield at the referee and gets back to work. I went to see Richie Woodall training at the Ironbridge Power Station gym, and he told me. He's not used to uh, puffing up people, but this elbow is pretty good and very strong. Yes, I think he is strong. He must be, you know, when he's competed with this. big heavyweights. He's getting that left hook back into play to the body, Davis. And I think he's still being outworked in this round. That's a great right hand from Obo. So we'll just keep the shots coming. Better for all boy, I think. work for Chris Davis from Glen Clidac in South Wales. I hope that, that is pronounced correctly. Don't write in if it isn't, please. The good solid shots from all boys. Just copying around the, the corner, around the side of the head. Davis come back round better towards seven. the end of the round. We all found that amusing. Here's the seventh round. Shepherd written there on the front of his trunks. It's really 
get the punches flowing as well. Over. <laughs> Left eye closing up a bit now for Chris Davis as well. He just lost a little belief in there. What do you think, Claire? Yes, I think he has. I think a few rounds ago he lost that, that belief. Maybe when he caught over with a big punch and over come back well towards the end of the round. That took a bit out of Davis. Three. I've given Oboe the last three and now have it level. You've got Oboe ahead, haven't you? I've now? got two points. Yeah. Oboe just puts it pulling away a bit. We just scored the one round differently. <laughs> Only the referee will score this. Troubled by that, I thought, Obo. Yeah, he just looked as if he was having to think about it, didn't he? Yeah, he was a delayed reaction. He wasn't smiling then, was he? Maybe Davis can get a second win here. He needs to. Davis has got a bit of power himself, as Neville Brown can testify. He also beat the uh, former hot prospect, Carhalo Brady. Quickly, Chris Davis. Oh, we're just peppering Davis with shots through the middle, just keeping them hands going out. Some of them just got little pitter patter punches with not too much meat in them from over, but others quite heavy shots. The good thing that Obo does is whenever Davis gets some shots off, Obo comes straight back with punches of his own. Oh, right hand seemed to just wobble Davis a little bit. very good fight isn't it yeah, it's very interesting I think um, Davis has just got to step it up I think Obo is such a big strong guy he's got he's got to make Obo work and he's not doing it but I still think it's very closely poised Obo is so awkward he's got such an awkward southpaw style he seems to throw everything wrong but the punches are going there and he's uh, bashing Davis's face up a bit now but Davis is letting him do it he's standing off and he's letting him do it it's been intriguingly poised who do you think is going to win well I think Davis is throwing the more uh, quality shots but it looks like Obo is starting to get on top now the, the next three, three rounds are going to be the, the match winner. Thank you very Ooh, much indeed. Yeah. Well, Obo looks so strong and so determined, and he's Second never stopped throwing the punches. He's, it's right what Ed was saying there. He's, uh, he's very big and hits hard, and I think he's a bit dispirited, Davis. They're very, very slow getting him out here. Now, how long's this gap? He's got a problem, I think, with the gum shield. I might have lost the gum shield. He'd lost the gum shield, you know. <laughs> mm. It's a good bit of gamesmanship if they hadn't lost the gum shield, but I, I've got a feeling, looking over there, they really had. Well, they did look a bit confused in the, in the corner. But he didn't really look that happy to be coming out, to be honest, Davis. <laughs> is round eight due to go ten you can just sense Davis running out of confidence you know, this is getting a, a pretty hard night for him this is almost there in the body language isn't it now he's lost a lot of that early spark it's been punched out of him Novo looks as if he's just relishing the experience. It's one of Davis's problems. Easy to hit, you know, there's no head movement, hasn't been throughout this fight. Just comes in, straight lines, straight up. It's one of the difficult 
opens for Obo is getting out of the sparring partner journeyman mentality and beginning to believe in himself as a possible championship fighter in his own right. Well, I think you know, throughout this fight, he's kept busy. He's been first to the punch. He hasn't just settled back. He's on top now. Bit by bit, the fight and resistance seems to be seeping out of Chris Davis, who goes down and it's waved off. That's enough. Terry O'Connor didn't count. Davis had just taken too many. You could almost see it happening right in front of your eyes. It is over. That's a big win for Peter Obo who claps his opponent, he's one of the nicest men in the business, Obo, though you'd never guess it to see him at work in a boxing ring. But he just had too much for Chris Davis, who'd started so well. But his face was a mess, and this man was relentless in the end. He wouldn't stop throwing those shots, and in the end, I think poor Chris Davis was just sickened by it. Yes, he was, and I think you know, some definite nose damage there. I think you know, he could well have broken that nose. It was bleeding very heavily at the end and you know, just the way he pitched forward I think it was just uh, you know, so many punches coming in not one particular punch just there was so many being here with him and he just sickened Davis completely well Peter Robo he's lost to Joe Silovangi to Scott Welsh to Johnny Nelson to Terry Dunstan the former British champion plenty of defeats on the record maybe because he's been a sparring partner too much but he's got the job done here in a Commonwealth title Eliminator and puts himself in line for a shot at that title against Coventry's Neil Simpson. Yes, I think his problem's been he's been a bit too ambitiously matched in the past. I think if he works his way up, he's going to be a hard man to beat. He's very determined, very.